SOLIDWORKS 2010 offers a lot of great tools for working with imported data or complex model geometry. Expanding on the direct editing capabilities found in SOLIDWORKS, we can see that SOLIDWORKS now also recognizes child features. What this means is it not only recognizes the cut extrude, the boss extrude, and the fillets, it recognized them all together. That's also new in SOLIDWORKS 2010, the ability to recognize the boss and the cut. The fillets, or any features in direct editing, are just like you would expect in SOLIDWORKS. They're completely editable, and we can make quick, easy changes to them. Another new feature in 2010 that you'll notice is mouse gestures. You'll notice that it's very easy for me to simply right mouse click and change my view here. And these are context sensitive, which means if I'm in sketch mode, part mode, assemblies, or drawings, I get different results. Now found under the right mouse click menu is a new move face command. Move face greatly enhances the ability to work with imported geometry. When I select it, I'm presented with a triad that makes it very easy to make quick adjustments. Now that was a simple one, but this hole pattern here, for instance, we may want to select all of these holes. The new right mouse click select connected faces menu gives me a quick, easy way to select similar features and faces that are grouped together. You'll notice here with mouse gestures, it's very easy for me to simply select the move face command right here. I'm going to just go ahead and rotate the circular pattern, and we'll just accept that and hit OK. But it's not always that easy. For example, you'll notice that this rib right here is found on a compound edge. Using those select connected faces again, we'll simply grab all the tangent edges and we'll do another move face. Let's zoom out. You'll notice that there's new capabilities in this triad as well. If I right mouse on it, I have the ability to move to selection. I can drag this triad onto any edge on my part and I can quickly make adjustments there. So here, we'll move that rib up a little bit. But move face is more than just moving. Let's take a look at that same rib and do the exact same command. You'll notice that it also offers us the ability to copy geometry as well. So we're going to again do, the sim do a similar move to what we did before and we're going to move that rib down. This applies to many different complex situations as well. For instance, this port right here. You can see it's very quickly to select all the associated edges, but also as I move this, and we'll move the triad into place, I can move this in a wide variety of places, and it's really, truly intelligent in how it works. The most important thing to remember through all of this is SOLIDWORKS not only makes these changes, we keep a history of these changes. So anytime the user wants, they can go back and they can make changes to their designs at any point throughout the entire design process. Just another example of how SOLIDWORKS 2010 is really making things a lot easier for users.